Hello, Assalamualaikum uh, I'm an ordinary Muslim who like to draw and read comic book Right now, I'm in awe with a book I just started to read the Quran again uh, It's been a while actually As I came to learn the Quran I see that its detail is captured in visual Just like a comic book uh, Allah paint the picture with word. When we understand the word, inshallah, we will understand more to the reality that Allah depicting. Uh, just like a comic book world, but with a lot more depth and emotion and feeling. Let me show you the beauty I came to appreciate. And hopefully, will make us want to learn more about the Quran. Let's start with one phenomenal surah called al -Qariya. You heard that uh, in your mind will wander around, right? What does Allah mean about the striking calamity? Is it about the earthquake, a tsunami, or other calamity? You will ask, what is the calamity? And then Allah respond to your question. As though He reflect, reflecting in your mind, in our mind, Malkaria, what is the calamity? And then Allah continue with the the third ayah. Wa ma adrok malkaria. This is beautiful. What will inform you about the reality of this alkaria? This is telling us that the the alkaria is not like we could imagine. Nowhere close to that. And what Imam Suhaib Web told us about this ayah is that if we would amass everything, human, non human, the answer is Allah answer Yaumu Yakunu Nasukal Farasi The day when the humanity is like moth dispersed spread out. What I remember from the nominal lecture the benefit of using this image parallel with humanity when the rattling sound happen the korea the loud noise we will be so wrecked we will be so shocked that we start running around in every direction in chaos totally totally chaos this is a horrifying uh, moment in the day of judgment Interesting point uh, from the old scholar that the word Mabtuth come from the word Bath mean deficient and distinction which is incredible things because in the day of judgment we will be brought back it's the biggest gathering ever of human being all generation of human being are coming together at one point and yet, this is the day you will feel the loneliest, subhanallah. After that, Allah said, وَتَكُونُوا jibalu kal manfus," And the mountain will become as carded wool. So, Allah describing the mountain, the big mountain, the strong and fixed, as this weightless thing gonna be slammed together because the mountain will not stay in one place subhanallah al -Qariyah. the image of al -Qariyah is uh, showing again and then man mawazinu. the meaning is then as for him whose scales are heavy with good deed subhanallah this is really incredible because you know an ayah ago a mountain will become a weightless uh, uh, become a weightless thing and now what became becoming heavy our good deed the good deed this is the day when everything changed subhanallah and then 
Allah explain it again in the next ayah. What what happened uh, for the man who scales are are become heavy? Fahuwa fi ishati radiya. The meaning of this uh, ayah is, he will live a pleasant life. This means, as for him whose scales are heavy, he will live a pleasant life. The entire life, not a moment will go by when the joy will be missing. There will not be a moment of boredom or dissatisfaction. May Allah make us among these people. And now we came to the horrifying next ayah. This is Wa man kaffat mawazinu. The meaning is, but as for him, whose scales are light and then the ayah ended it doesn't go to the next ayah because Allah want us to reflect am I the one that being described but as for him whose scales are light فَأُمُّهُ هَاوِيَ subhanallah you have to understand the meaning of this ayah before pointing out the scariest part, no one I'll explain the word Havia first. The word Havia came from the word Hua. That means to fall into a steep canyon and it's usually used for a bird of prey dive down at full speed. This means much faster than falling, right? The bird is forcing itself further down way way deep into the valley to snatch its prey. So it's Hua. And Hawiya is actually refers to that this is a canyon in the hellfire so deep that only Allah know its depth. So so we could understand the ayah more. The brother Numan Ali referred to one of Arabic expression that they used to say they would say to somebody that have a really really bad time or they are in horrible calamity they would say huwat umuhu huwat umuhu what that mean is like his mother fell off a cliff they, they don't really mean his mother fell off a cliff they're just saying you look like your mother fell off a cliff. You look that depressed. Who what umu? Umu is mother. But now Allah took this expression but changed the arrangement. Fa umuhu havia. The literal translation is his mother is deep canyon in hell. Ummu, Ummu, Ummu is, the meaning is mother, Ummu. This show you something, imagine this. A child always run to, to his mother, right? A child naturally want to run to his mother, even if you don't ask him to. So, in the day of judgment, whether you like it or not, if a person headed to hellfire, they will run to it who want to run to hellfire nobody it's kind of sign that your body will rebel against you no matter how much you want to run away from it first he will say please give me that don't take me in in Havia. and then he will throw himself throw himself in he will go himself because he just can help it just like a child can help himself toward it, it its mother the other benefit is a mother wrap around her child and doesn't let go right and also when a mother carrying a baby the child it's inside 
inside her. He cannot come out. He's inside. This imply the hell gonna help him, not release him, like a child trapped inside a womb of a mother. Subhanallah. The Ummuhu Hawiya is a really powerful rendition of the phrase the Hawiya. And he said, Wama Andro Kamahiya. Just like the first three ayah, right? Wama Andro Kama. Wama Andro Kamahiya. What would give you any clue as to what she is? And Allah answered, Naron Hamia. That is a burning fire. This is one of the beauty of the Quran language. One of uh, one of the lecture by Imam Suhaib Webb, he explained that the Nar is fire, Hamia is burning. Hamia is extremely hot and burning. It's like fire on fire. So this is something absolutely unique in the Quran. Subhanallah. Naron Hamia, a burning fire. The most fearful fire that you can imagine.